Hey, welcome to this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Still only two subs away from an even 4K. I'm not rhyming. All right, you know the deal. Share the show with your friends. That's how we spread the word. All right, so another beer from my buddy Brett over at Urban Artifact. I haven't done one of his beers in about a month, and I still have a few left in the fridge. So this one is from Urban Artifact, Black Currant Trifle. Midwest Fruit Tart, Ale Brew with Black Currant, Almond, Orange, Vanilla Bean, and Lactose. 8.2 ABV from 2023. Feeling a little fancy tonight using the stem tulip glass. Coming out of the can, it looks like ocean spray grape juice or something. That is like magenta purple. Even get like a, you know, kind of a indigo kind of color on the, the foam there. Let's give this thing a whiff. Yeah, it definitely smells like a red wine. I get, you know, black currants, yeah. Um, kind of like red grape. I definitely get, I get like a slight kind of acetic kind of uh, vinegar kind of note, which is why I said it smells like red wine. So it's kind of like a, you know, cab. I can smell the vanilla, but I think it's like, it's obscured. Like the fruit, the fruit is foremost and then like the kind of wine character and then the sourness and uh, a little bit of, uh, you know, the vanilla bean in there. <sighs> smells pretty good. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah. Wow, that's um that's a lot going on there. I gonna have to think about it. It's fruity, it's sour, it's sweet, uh, it's a little red wine like. I think this is, this is probably the most uh, of all the urban artifact beers, this is probably the most complex that I've had. So up front kind of hits me like a standard kettle fruited sour. Just that clean lactic acidity, pretty strong uh, sourness on this one, which is interesting because like it really didn't smell that sour. The taste is pretty sour. On a scale of one to ten, it's about a probably about about eight on the sourness. It definitely rivals like you know some of the Petrus and other Goose Belgian type sours as far as the intensity of the sour. Kind of in the background is like this fruity. I mean, obviously it's black currant, which. You know, it's like it's like a sour grape, or oh, it's kind of like a blueberry, but like really tart and sour. Um, but I also get like a grape jam, or like actually, I don't know if they make black currant jam, but if they did, that's this is probably what it would taste like. So it's like this sweet, like authentic fruity flavor. You know, it's very jam like. It has like a thick, kind of viscous body. The finish is very tart. It's kind of lingering around. I don't really get the almond or the orange, though. Unless the orange is just kind of adding a bit of a, a citric acid, which would enhance the tartness. And the as far as almond, I'm not really getting any nutty character. I think there's something there. It's like really, it's really way down there. Also, I'm not sure how young or old this can is. So, I mean, maybe I just sat on this too long and the, the almond flavor faded, which... You know, it's understandable. Either way, I would say this is still <laughs> this is still a great tasting beer. I'm surprised. Noticeably, you know, kind of like you who kind of body and texture to it. So I'd say like this is full bodied, um, smooth and creamy. I mean, but that just they do have lactose in there, so I mean that would explain that. Carbonation is I'd probably put about moderate, maybe moderately low. I would say it's like definitely smooth and creamy. And for 8.2 ABV, wow. That is, it just drinks like something like so much lighter. Yeah, that's really complex. Really tasty. Oh, I'm kind of sorry that I waited so long to try this one. I think uh, this might, I mean, I have to go through my, my list, but this is probably, one. this is definitely one of the best beers that I've had from Urban Artifact. Um, yeah, this one's really delicious, really drinkable. I thought about giving this a full 10. I don't think it's quite, it's not quite a 10 because like I, I'm missing that almond and that orange. So I will give a solid nine out of 10 for the black currant trifle from Urban Artifact. Really, really tasty beer. Sour, authentically fruity, a little sweetness from the vanilla and then just like sm smooth and creamy from the lactose. So 
Thanks, Brett. Really like this one. Still have a couple more down there. We will get to those eventually. So if you watch all of the end, you know you're awesome. I will see you guys for Chad's Beer Podcast. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's Beer Review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.